Welcome everyone. This is the second video for the leveling series where we are going to discuss about equipment that are going to be used in leveling and also we are going to discuss about principle of leveling. Let's first discuss about the equipments for leveling. Leveling can be done with auto level, trapper stand and a graduated staff. Auto level is very basic equipment that can be used for the leveling purpose. This is the equipment that does not require any power. You don't need any battery to operate this. This is just an uh, optical instrument through which using graduated staff, we will take different readings to determine levels on a field. This equipment can rotate horizontally, but it cannot rotate vertically. Sometime if you are working on a undulating surface where we have a steep elevation, or depressions then in that case we need to shift the equipments at multiple locations hence the leveling operation can be tedious using this auto level the function of trapper stand is to place the equipment on the trapper stand and measuring the elevation of different positions with the help of rigid staff instead of auto level we can use theodolite which operates with the help of batteries in theodolite we can see the horizontal angles and also the vertical angle since theodolite has a capability of rotating horizontally and rotating vertically as well so this equipment can also be used and since this equipment comprises of a telescope which can move vertically hence we can do leveling at any undulating surface but we have to take care of the power we should have adequate power to operate for longer durations. Theodolite also utilizes graduated staff. The recent equipment which is quite often being used on field is the total station which has the capability of determining the horizontal distances as well as the vertical distances automatically. In this case, instead of graduated staff, we have prism. So with the help of laser technology, the horizontal distance as well as the vertical distance is being calculated automatically on the total station. It can be seen on the display. Also, it can calculate the coordinates and elevation automatically. Again, this total station requires power to operate. So we have to be careful with that. Now let's discuss about the principle of leveling. We will understand the principle of leveling considering the basic equipments, auto level, trapper stand and graduate staff. Once we will know the basics of leveling, then we can use the advanced equipments. So let's understand how this leveling process works. Considering a natural surface like the one which you can see here, this is a cross section of the land. To start the leveling process, we should know a point where the reduced level is known. This is the point where the leveling starts. And as we know that reduced level is actually the vertical distance from a data line, which is usually the mean sea level. Now to perform the leveling process, first we have to set out the equipment. For that, we have to place the trapper stand at some point. So if the trapper stand is being placed here, so this station is then being named as a equipment station. Over there, the machine will be placed. That could be a auto level, that could be a theodolite or a total station. Graduate staff will be placed at benchmark. And then the auto level will be aimed to the graduated staff to note down the reading and if you look through the auto level this is how it looks like this is called actually the cross here so this will be the reading that we are going to obtain and this reading is called backside reading bs reading actually this reading indicates that the leveling process has been started and this reading is usually being taken on benchmark later on the staff will be shifted to multiple locations. Let's say at this position, again, the auto level will be aimed at the staff and then the reading will be obtained. Now this reading is usually being named as intermediate side reading. 
In UEL practice, we have one back side reading and have multiple intermediate side readings for one equipment setup in order to know the reduced level at different locations. For that, we just need to place the staff at that point. Like if you want to determine the reduced level at this point, we will place the staff at this point. Similarly, on other points. And the last reading that is going to be obtained the last point where we are determining the reading for this equipment setup aiming the auto level at the staff and then we are going to have the reading which reading is usually being named as foresight or final sight reading that is actually the last reading that is being taken at any one equipment setup so for this equipment setup this will be then the final sight or the foresight so in leveling process we will usually have three readings the first reading is the backside reading which is being taken on the bench part the other readings are the intermediate side reading which is in between the start and final reading and usually those readings are many and the last one is the foresight or final side reading which is only one as similar to that of backside reading there are different ways through which we determine the reduced level at different points Commonly used methods are height of instrument method or rise and fall method through which simple calculations are being done to know the reduced level at different points. Like if you want to know the reduced level at different points, so then using those methods, it can be done. So this is how the calculations or this is how the leveling process will be done using these equipments on field. So this is all from this video. I believe I have given you the basic understanding about the equipments that are usually being used in leveling process and also the principle behind the leveling. So this is all from this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in next coming videos. Till then, thank you for watching this video.